What is going on guys? I am Consumer Tech Review and today I'm going to be taking you guys on a tour of my Cyberpunk 2077 themed gaming desk setup build. And if you guys want to check out any of the tech that I'm going to talk about during this video, I'll have Amazon links below for the US, UK and Canada. I do got you guys, but let's jump in to the setup. All right, now the first piece of the setup, what everyone's eyes attract to, obviously, that has to be the monitor. This thing is an LG 34 inch ultra wide curved ultra wide it is the lg ultra gear this thing is freaking awesome especially for the price of it it's a little bit up there it's not quite budget however it can be overclocked to 160 hertz it's one millisecond response time it is an ips panel a nano ips panel with 400 nits of brightness so it's quite a nice uh, monitor probably one of the best in the price range 1440p and it's got g-sync so it's got a lot of stuff it's a really nice monitor. Let's move on to the peripherals. Starting off with the keyboard, that is the HyperX Alloy FPS RGB. This thing is awesome. It's got silver speed switches, so it's really nice for gaming. A linear switch that actuates at, I think, 1.1 millimeters. Quite a nice deck. It's all alloy top metal. Really a beautiful, beautiful keyboard with super bright RGB. That's probably one of the biggest things with this keyboard. Now, on that is actually moving into the second thing, which is what that keyboard is customized with. These are the G-Skill Crystal Crown keycaps. Freaking awesome. G-Skill just uh, released these just probably last month. Uh, really awesome keycaps. Uh, they're, very, they're clear on the bottom uh, with a little bit of black on the top with a ring around it, and then it's just a ton of RGB. It's very see-through. It's definitely a look, but I think it definitely fits the theme of the cyberpunk type thing because it's very futuristic, very like techy looking. I, I like it a lot. Those are a sick pickup if you want to upgrade your keyboard, link below. And I have all of that, the HyperX FPS RGB, the Alloy FPS RGB. I have all of that customized to the yellow and kind of teal blue theme. That's what I kind of got from cyberpunk. I kind of wanted to go with that teal and yellow theme and I think it looks really good. Now, moving to the mouse, this is the Red Dragon M808 Storm. It is a honeycomb design, which I thought definitely fit the Cyberpunk 2077 theme. Uh, it then has some RGB, which I customized it to that yellow again. Uh, and I think it looks really good on this mouse. It is a lightweight mouse. I think it's 85 grams. Uh, it's got that really nice cable. It's really fun for playing uh, first person shooters on and it'll definitely be nice to play 2077 on this mouse on this whole setup it's a pretty inexpensive mouse especially for the weight of it and the design and just how it is the sensor is really nice the clicks everything feels really good and it's definitely a sick pickup and it's a must that it has the customizable rgb because it's got to have that yellow theme for cyberpunk 2077. now the next thing is the davoom ditto this thing is sick yes it's a little gimmicky but is that the point? Absolutely. This thing is awesome. It is basically a little tiny screen, uh, 16 by 16, uh, and you basically have these huge pixels, but it's very retro, which definitely fits in with the Cyberpunk 2077 because it's 2077 is kind of like a retro modern uh, feel to it, and it's awesome. And I think this definitely fits with that. You can customize your animations. It has an app on it. It has a fantastic speaker actually in it with the subwoofer. It sounds really good. Uh, it's got like little keys on it. You can play Tetris. It definitely fits with the theme of this thing. This thing is awesome. It's a little bit up there. It's a little expensive at a hundred bucks, uh, but the quality is on point, and it does actually have a quite a nice speaker. But it definitely, definitely fits this theme extremely well. Now, moving on to that lamp, I use this in a ton of my videos because it is gorgeous and amazing, and I love it so much. This is the Aki Smart Table Lamp. This thing is sweet. Now, the opacity of the lamp is so perfect. The lamp is so bright. Uh, it can both be a white, like a different shades of white, different warmths and cool tones of white. And then it has a separate one for the RGB different colors because actually a lot of RGBs cannot do white as well as all the different 16.8 million colors. So this table lamp does both of them. You can switch it between white and the colors. And when it's white, it's extremely bright. But for this setup, I did it in that blue to kind of offset uh, the majority of the yellow color, which I think it did quite a good job on. This also is touch sensitive with this top shiny silver on it, which looks really nice, but it can also be controlled via uh, Amazon Echo 
and Google Assistant. So that's really nice to have. And it also can be controlled through the app, change colors, white, whatever you want. Uh, but most of the time you're gonna be using Amazon or Google to talk to this uh, lamp and tell her what to do. That not only makes it futuristic because you can tell your lamp what to do, but it also looks really good and very, very futuristic, fits in perfectly with the whole cyberpunk theme, which is kind of like that neon, no sharp colors, all like this, yeah, it looks good. You guys know it fits. Now the next thing, which I think a lot of people are gonna overlook with doing a sort of 2077 uh, setup theme is grass. There's actually quite a bit of grass and greenery if you look around. Now you have to look around from the images and the videos that we've got so far, but there actually is quite a bit of plants indoors and there is grass around the city limits in the more suburb areas so i wanted to add this fake grass plant you guys know i use this in all my setups but i love it it adds a pop of green and i have it next to that aki lamp so it looks really nice because it has that color just shining onto that green which looks pretty sick next we got the speaker system this is the edifier m3200 this is a 2.1 audio system. It sounds absolutely amazing, especially for the money. Strong, deep bass, good mids, great highs, great trebles. Now, this thing also looks awesome. It is a black and kind of a blue theme. The blue is very subtle and it doesn't really offset the yellow too much. Uh, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't draw away from this. However, it is very futuristic looking. It has these kind of uh, triangle cylinder type shapes and it just looks very, very nice with a right firing subwoofer on the bottom, but you're not really gonna see that most of the time anyway. But this sound system sounds awesome. It looks futuristic enough to be in the 27.7 build. I might have liked to do a white system better. However, I do think it looks futuristic enough to be in a theme, a setup theme such as this. It also comes with a volume knob and overall pretty much a fantastic 2.1 desk system. Uh, and for a hundred bucks, it's a pretty much steal. It always is out of stock because it's such a good speaker system, but there is an Amazon link below. Check to see if it's in stock if you want a sick 2.1 system. Now the next thing is a USB hub. I plug this into my PC so I can directly plug certain things in and out of it. Um, and it just looks awesome. Again, it's standing upright. It sticks on your desk that you can still take it off. Uh, it has some RGB on it, but it looks really nice. And I think it definitely fits with the modern, very futuristic theme of the 2077s. Now, all of that is sitting on the Tribe Signs 55 inch black and white desk. This thing, I love it. It is not too expensive. It's very affordable. It's extremely sturdy, extremely strong and never shakes. Uh, it can hold a lot of weight and it just looks beautiful. It looks minimalistic, futuristic and clean it's not too in your face and you can just do so much with this desk i love it a lot it's like 150 or less bucks for a 55 inch you can get a 65 inch and a 43 inch it's awesome if you guys are looking for a new desk to upgrade your desk setup link below all right but now we're going to get into the pc this is where the fun starts to begin this thing is pretty, pretty sick. I pride myself on it. Starting with the case, that is the Aero Cool Quartz RGB. This case was really nice. It's not too expensive. Uh, it's kind of a mid-range case, but I like it and it's simplistic. I didn't want to do a case that was too crazy and in your face, but I definitely didn't want to do the NZXT case. Just so many people use that and I think it's way overdone. I want to do something a little bit different. The motherboard is the Asus Tough Gaming Z490 Plus really great with Wi-Fi, just a great motherboard overall. I put a 10th gen i7 10700KF uh, CPU in it, which just is great. I use that for editing a lot, but I didn't want to go with the i9. Then for the CPU cooler, I went with the 240 millimeter Corsair Hydro Series uh, AIO, and that is the H100i Platinum with the RGB. So we have the fans with RGB, as well as the Corsair logo with the little rings around it with the RGB. It looks really good because I have the whole teal and that yellow, and it just looks so good. The RGB on that AIO is pristine. Then we have 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM, which obviously it's it's the Trident RAM. I have it two-tone colors. Uh, I will be getting another 16 gigs of RAM, so 32 gigs, but I do have it with the yellow and the blue, which I think just looks awesome. Then we have the MSI Ventus RTX 3080. Yes, that's right. An RTX 3080. I'm going to flex that so hard, guys. I just am. I'm never going to stop doing it. So yeah, the RTX 3080, it is so ready for uh, Cyberpunk 2077 to come out. I don't know why I stuttered there. That was weird. But yeah, so ready for that to come out. Definitely going to be running that with RTX fully on. Everything's going to be maxed out. It's going to be great. Then I have an Intel 512 SSD with another 
terabyte of a uh, hard drive. I don't usually use the uh, internal hard drives or anything because I'm constantly having external SSDs. That's what I constantly use for games as well as editing. So I didn't get a whole lot of storage on that. But the exhaust fan was actually a non-RGB fan. So I slapped a Fantex RGB ring. It's all metal on it. Uh, so it's a fan frame. You slap it on there. It does RGB. Can be fully customized with IQ, looks really sick. And then at the top, what completely makes this build look sexy and definitely 2070-70E is the Fantex neon strip. The RGB strip on the top just looks incredible. This is definitely what makes this PC be able to look like a cyberpunk PC. It definitely, definitely hits the mark. Tell me what you guys think about that. But guys, that is the full Cyberpunk 2077 build. That is everything on it. And remember, if there's anything in the video that you did find interesting that you want to add to your desk setup to make it more cyberpunky, there will be Amazon links below for the US, UK, and Canada. They've been there the whole video. You guys just didn't know it, or did you? But guys, tell me what you guys think of this setup and tell me what you guys might add or take away or what you think shouldn't have been there, what you think it should have been there. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you like gaming tech reviews and tech reviews in general or setup tours or something like that, I do a ton of that type of content. So please consider subscribing. It'll be below to subscribe. It'll be below. Go subscribe below. But guys, we're about to hit 17,000 subs. It's going crazy. The channel's growing insanely fast. I'm going to try to do something really crazy. Let's get to 25,000 subs before 2021. That's like huge. That's 8,000 subs from right now to January 1st. That's like a lot in 30 days but i think we can do it we're gonna try to do it this was consumer tech review thank you for all the support and i'll see you guys later